How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Bora Motors. I'm AJ Hart, here again with another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to just maintain and keep your e-move cruiser nice and tight and ready. Odds are you're taking it out for these longer rides because that's what it's really good at. But with that comes a lot of shaking and bumping and some stuff's gonna get knocked loose. So every now and again, you gotta go in and make sure that everything's nice. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the more regular things that need to be maintained on the e-cruiser. Now we're gonna just go from the front of the scooter to the back of the scooter. Handling handlebars, folding mechanism, little accessories here and there, and then wrap it up by going over how to tune the front and rear brakes. The top front of the scooter, we're gonna start talking about handlebars first off. You're gonna notice a little bit of play in the handlebars themselves, which can get really obnoxious when you're going on bumps and stuff. So in order to fix this, we're gonna go ahead and grab this center here, push it and fold it down. You're gonna see this tiny screw on the inside there. You're gonna need an Allen wrench at a size at 2.5 to fit into there. And this is gonna feel a little bit backwards first off. You're actually not going to want to tighten that screw you're gonna wanna loosen it. Because the goal is that this nut here is filling the space on top. If you tighten it, you're gonna end up making more space in this socket, which is gonna give it more play. So give it a little loosen to fill up the gap. Now you may not get it on your first try, so it may take a couple times to kinda loosen it, close it, see if it plays, loosen it, close it, see if it plays. Now do make sure that you're extra careful with this metal because it can strip really easily, especially if you're trying to tighten it and crank it down. Now you might notice your handlebars might hit a certain point where they're out of order. You can see down there, my wheel's facing forward, but my handlebars are not quite as straight. So to start this off, if you look down the neck of your scooter, you're gonna see this little latch. If you reach down and pull that open, you're gonna notice that now you can raise and lower the handlebars for your scooter. This is gonna be how you adjust the handlebars anytime you want them. Just lock that to keep it still. Now as for straightening it out, what you're gonna wanna do is squeeze the tire between your feet and then unlock the stem of the handlebars. You should be able to twist it straight and then once it's straight, just go ahead and lock it again. Now it looks like mine's still a little bit loose and I can still wiggle my handlebars. So I'm gonna unlock it again. And if you look down here, you're gonna see this little black nut on the side. If you crank that, you can kind of tighten that lock. And once it's tightened, you should be able to lock it and it won't wiggle anymore. And with that, you should be able to have your handlebars at a nice height and a nice straightness. Next is our lamp and horn on the front. It can be a bit wobbly, but it's a super easy fix. Tighten the bolt with an eight millimeter and you'll be fine and ready to go in no time. Now, let's talk about what to do about your wobbly stem. This is probably the most annoying issue to have, but luckily it's a pretty easy fix. Just go down to the folding mechanism right at the hinge, and you're gonna notice these six little screws. Just tighten these with an Allen wrench. Then you're gonna wanna tighten this larger bolt here at the bottom. An Allen wrench on one side and a 10 millimeter on the other, and you should be able to just crank it down. Don't crank these all down too hard, because at the end of the day, this is how your scooter folds but we also don't want these things to be wobbly while you're riding it. Now there's a small chance that that didn't solve your stem wiggle. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna come down under the stem itself. And if you look underneath, you're gonna see a couple screws underneath the stem above the fender. Those might need tightened. Now unfortunately, we don't have an Allen wrench with a tight enough curve to really get under there without removing the whole fender. So if you need to fix that, you may need to buy your own Allen wrench that's tight enough to get under there or just remove the fender so you can dig in. It can be a bit of a project, but it isn't a difficult fix. One more thing before we get to the brakes is the kickstand down underneath. Don't tighten this too hard because it is made of plastic and you can snap it, but we do want to make sure that that's tightened because we've heard some complaints about this falling off before. 
Now, as you can hear, that's probably not what a brake should sound like, especially not in the front wheel where we should be able to just kind of let that spin for a little bit longer. So we're gonna go ahead and have to tune these. So what you're gonna wanna do first is loosen the bottom nut on the brake unit. Then you're gonna wanna loosen the top nut on the brake unit. Now once it's loosened, you can kind of wiggle the unit itself, kind of left and right. You want to make sure that this is centered, not too much grinding on either side of the brake disc on the inner part of the wheel. I'm going to line this up so that the two brake pads are in even distance from the brake disc. Then I'm going to go ahead and tighten the bottom and the top screws again. So I did notice a new kind of horrible noise. It sounds like the brake unit itself is grinding on the inside of the wheel against the metal. So I'm just gonna have to try to tune it again, I guess. You're gonna notice that there is still a slight grind, but that's just because it's a new brake pad and that's gonna go away within a couple rides. Now the rear wheel is going to be handled the exact same way. You're gonna loosen the bottom, you're gonna loosen the top, you're gonna adjust the brake and disc, and then you're gonna tighten them again. I do think it's worth noting that the back wheel isn't going to spin as well as the front wheel because there is a motor back here. So it is gonna take a little bit more of a trained ear to notice what is and isn't grinding because you're not gonna be able to make it scream like you could on the front wheel. Now another thing that you may start to notice feels wrong is the brake itself. If you squeeze it, it won't feel like it's giving enough grip to the tire. So if you need to tighten your brakes themselves, what you're going to want to do is loosen this top bolt here. Loosen the part that actually kind of moves with the brake itself. Then you're going to want to grab the brake line and just kind of pull it a little bit tighter. You may even want to hold it, pinch the mechanism a little bit, and then tighten that down. And then, when you go to squeeze your brakes, it should feel a lot tighter. Now you notice it did slip because I didn't tighten it hard enough. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that and try again and make sure I really ratchet it down. Because we don't want that to slip when we actually try to pull the brake. A lot of these repairs and tunings are gonna take a little bit of trial and error to make sure you get it to feel right. This is your ride, so you need to make sure it feels good. Now another way you can kind of adjust this, the brake sensitivity, is with this little knob here. If you spin it up and down, it's gonna kind of make the brakes feel a little looser and a little tighter, just a minor adjustment. Now if you're like me, sometimes you're a little lazy and you don't want to get all the way down there to adjust the brakes. So you can do the lazy man's way. If you loosen up this small little nut here, you can start to twist this larger uh, screw here at the top of the brakes. And if you tighten that in, and then go ahead and tighten the little, little bolt again, now the further into the brake unit that it is, the less touchy the brakes are gonna feel. And the further out this larger nut is, the tighter the brakes are gonna feel. I like having a little bit more of a tighter brake, so we're gonna inch that out a little bit and then tighten that nut down. And that feels really responsive to me, so we're gonna keep that. And that should be everything that you need to maintain from general wear and tear when you're riding the scooter. You know, these things are vehicles, they need to be taken care of. If you noticed any screws or parts that might have been broken or missing, go ahead and shoot us an email at support at voromotors.com and we can start looking into getting those replaced for you. We hope that this video helps and we hope that you're able to keep enjoying your ride. Have a good one.